वेलकम टू माई YouTube चैनल मोदी मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल्स इन दिस वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू एक्सप्लेनिंग इन डिटेल्स अबाउट एन एरर्स इन मेजरमेंट्स सो दैट वुड बी द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट इन टू द मैकेनिकल मेट्रोलॉजी सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द सम ऑफ द एरर्स सो बेसिकली एरर्स इन टू द मेजरमेंट सो स्टार्टिंग विद द डेफिनेशन सो बेसिकली द एरर इन द मेजरमेंट is the basic difference between the measured value and true value of the measured dimensions or you can say that will be the difference between the measured value and standard value so it should be noted as an error into the measurements so basically the error into the measurement may be expressed either as an absolute error or you can say that that will be considering as a relative error so according to the principles that will be the fundamentally it will be dividing into the absolute error and relative error so now we will discussing in details on to the absolute error so basically into the types of errors so during the measurement the several types of error it may be arises and that will be considering just you can see first static error which includes so basically the reading errors so that will be taken by an observer second thing the characteristics error third environmental error so these three reading error characteristics error environmental error that will be generating with the some kind of irregularities into the measurement different methodologies for the measurements or you can not understanding how you will take the readings so that will be basically happens and that will be all the category it will be under a static errors after static errors second things that will be the instrumental loading errors so that will be not proper methodologies is being following so it may be possible so later on we will discussing on to in details and third one that will be considering as a dynamic error so basically as from the types of errors it may be it will be you are considering as a static dynamic and instrumental loading errors so first one and that will be static errors so basically you can considering like this these errors result from the physical nature of the various components of the measuring systems and basically that will be the three basic sources of the static errors first one and that will be most common reading errors so basically the reading errors due to the carelessness of an operator or you can say unskilled persons that will be there and it will be generating the reading error so this do not have any direct relationship with other any kind of errors within the measuring systems so it may be possible any time by any observers so basically that will be depends on to the skill of an operators so into the reading errors it may be your parallax error so that will be also most common methodologies or you can say generating the errors during the measurements so parallax error arise on account of the pointers or can say observers or can say the persons who are taking the readings and the scale not being in the same plane so it should be having some angles so we can eliminate this error by having the pointer and the scale into the same planes so basically at your right angles basically that will be the right positions so i will show you so basically wrong scale reading and the wrong reading of the data is being taken by the observer secondly inaccurate estimate of the average reading so that will be all considering into the parallax error incorrect conversions of the unit into the calculation part so that will be also possible so now just you can see the parallax error so suppose this is an one kind of examples of the glass tube reading so on to my right side there will be the position of the eye so if you taking the readings like it will be below that line so it will be reading like over your readings or you can say 
19.82 so basically our actual readings it will be 19.70 ml and if you are taking the readings from your standing positions if it will be this glass tubes it will be into the lower side so it will be the lower readings so what should you know that you should take your readings at your perpendicular of that particular reading or you can say at your right angles so that will be the most uh, common methods for taking an any kind of readings so that will be the one kind of error if you are using the positions of the top side or you can say the bottom side so it will be generating the parallax error second just you can see the reading from micrometer so in that case of the taking the readings just you can see so that green portions or you can say green eyes that would be indicating as a correct view or you can say correct angle of taking the measurements you should not take right side or left side of that positions because it will be having a some errors into the measurements so if you are not properly positioning while you are taking the readings so it will be generating the parallax error and most of the times it will be present into the measurements so you should take care about the parallax error if you are properly positioning with respect to your instruments so you should minimize it after this second one that will be the characteristics error so basically this kind of errors it will be defined as the deviations of the output of the measuring systems from the theoretical predicted performance or you should know that will be the from nominal performance specifications so just you can see the linearity errors repeatability hysteresis so these all are the terms which will be under the characteristics kind of error and if the theoretical output is in straight line so the calibration error is also included into the characteristics error so calibration that will be the important part into the measurements so you should go for the calibrations of your measuring instrument after the periodic time and that will be making an ensurement regarding for your measurement or that will be used for minimizing the errors into the measurements so secondly that will be the characteristics error after this environmental error so that will be also most of the times it will be present into the measurement systems so this error result from an effect of the surroundings such as the temperature pressure humidity etc onto the measuring systems so basically most of the times into the industries for the measurements into the boiler heat exchanger so the temperature that will be play a vital role sometimes that will be the high pressure high temperature applications and due to that it will be having uh, some kind of errors into the measurements or by the weather it should be into the summer it should be into the monsoons it will be in a different environment and conditions and due to that different environment and conditions it will be having uh, some errors into the measurements so it can be reduced by controlling the atmospheric according to the specific requirements so you should use the particular standard environment conditions for your store storing of your instruments as well as the utilization of your instruments under that standard conditions of the temperature and the one atmospheric pressure after this the second and that will be the instrument loading error so that will be the improper alignment of the physical contact between the instrument and a workpiece so loading error result from the change into the measurement itself when being measured so basically the instrument loading error is the difference between the value of the measurement and before and after the measurement for example just you can see soft or you can say ductile components is subjected to deformations during the measurement due to the contact pressure if you are making a high contact pressures so due to the softness of that particular components or products it should be minimized so due to that high pressure or you can say high contact pressure of the instrument 
and that will be causing the loading error. So the effect of this error that will be unavoidable. So that will be depends upon the skills or can skills of an operator. Third, dynamic errors. So in which that will be also called as to be a measurement error and is the difference between the true value of the measuring quantity and the value indicated by the measurement systems if no static errors is being assumed. So these errors can be broadly classified and that will be just you can see systematic or you can say controllable errors. So in which systematic and controllable errors it will be considering as a calibration errors, atmospheric errors, stylus pressure errors and avoidable errors and secondly that will be the random errors that will be generating any time any environment conditions any positions of the taking the readings or any skill operator or unskilled operators whatever it may be so such kind of errors sometimes it will be generating into the measurements so in which the systematic or controllable errors so these errors are controllable into the both their magnitude and stress and this can also be determined and reduce it. So you should control it because that will be itself it will be known to be a controllable error. So if you are utilization of the proper methodology for taking the readings, so it should be minimized. So first of all that will be the calibration errors. So actual length of the standards such as the scales will vary from the nominal value by the small amount after some times. So this will be causes an error into the measurements of a constant magnitude. If it will be damaging some instruments, so it will be having a, each and every time it will be having an error into the measurements. So you should go for the calibrations and due to that it will be considering as a calibration error. Atmospheric error. So the variation into the atmospheric conditions like mostly temperature, pressure and moisture at the places of the measurements from that internationally agreed standard values and that will be 20 degree temperature and 760 mm of Hg pressures can use for your controlling of the atmospheric conditions during the measurements. But sometimes or you can say most of the times it will be difficult to controlling such kind of things into the workshops and stylus pressure. So another common source is of an error and that will be pressure which will be which the workpiece is pressed with your while measuring. So if you are utilization of the more amount of contact pressure so that will be having some deformations of the object because that will be having a softness if it will be present. So it will be generating the error so that will be known to be a stylus pressure kind of error so you can also considering as a loading error right so the variation into the force applied by the anvils of the micrometers onto the workpiece to be measured and the result into the difference between the readings so in this case the errors is caused by the distortions of the both micrometer frame and the workpiece then avoidable errors so this error may occur due to the parallax, non-alignment of the workpiece centers, improper locations of the measuring instruments such as the thermometer in sunlight while the measuring the temperature. So you should avoid because that will be your conditions. And last one and it will be the random errors. So I already discussing on to that the random errors occurs randomly as per the name and the specific causes of the such errors cannot be determined and the likely sources of this type of error and that will be as a small variation into the position of the setting the standards and the workpiece so that will be the possibilities sometimes slightly displacement of the lever joints in the measuring instruments so after utilization of the so many years of that instruments so it will be possible friction into the measuring systems like if you are working with the micrometers so basically that will be work on to the screw thread principles so that will be the backless error is there and due to that friction and it will be generating the errors then operator error into the reading scales it will be also possible so I hope you understand each and every kind of errors so if you like this then subscribe and share 
Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. Thank you so much and keep watching.